Nobody. Welcome back to Neo 2. This is going to be a quick tutorial video on the multiplayer slash co-op features of Neo 2. So we're going to look at Revenants, we're going to look at uh, how to invite people into the uh, into your game, which is going to be the main feature of this main feature of this video. Uh, so let's start with that. Now the first thing you're going to want to do, in my opinion, is take a look at your online settings. This is going to, going to affect your online your online experience somewhat, and some things in here that I don't know if everybody everybody will know. Uh, in any case, uh, you want the matching region to be, uh, in my opinion, no limits unless you uh, are really bothered about ping. But I feel like if you want players and you want them to come from come from everywhere, I believe this actually affects the uh, the revenants, which don't actually suffer from ping anyway. So uh, you then have your player player identification types. You can have a person's name or simply player one or player two hover above their heads. Uh, you can have online uh, visit overhead indicators in case you want to see how well they're doing. Uh, you've got the health gauge and uh, whether or not you want them to have their visor. Obviously, I always have mine not showing, uh, and you can have it so that they either have their setting or your setting, depending on, on what you want. That's up to you. Uh, so, with your settings set, then, let's take a look at how you would summon a friend in particular into Neo 2, right? Now something that you need to be aware is uh, for somebody to come into a game and do co-op with you, they need to have finished that mission already. So if there's two of you starting from scratch, one of you is going to have to go ahead and finish the mission first before you can actually do co-op. Um, and then from that point then, you as the receiving player are going to want to come over to here. Now don't worry about the resource that we used to do this, I'm going to show you guys how we get one of those anyway. Uh, but essentially, uh, you will start out with, uh, so it should start out looking like that. Uh, no summoning conditions. Uh, and from here, I can press X and make an offering of a Chaku. Don't know why I got a sacred soul. It's weird. Uh, and then we can um, put an Chaku in there, and that will allow somebody to uh, to enter the game. You can have up to two, so you can put two Chaku cups there, and that will. Uh, Allow more people to to come on in. So with that being said, uh, you also have some options here, and you have to press. It's really weird that you have to press change settings to do this. So you have to press triangle and then do it, and then you can press. It's not letting me do it. Why is it not letting me do it? Change settings. It's really strange. Give me a second, guys. Okay, guys, so carrying on. It turned out that I'd actually offered up a chocolate cup, I just needed to remove it. Um, so let's talk about. Go for that. Uh, withdraw a chocolate cup. That's what I needed to do. Withdraw. Withdraw, there we go. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, once you go into the submenu, you can change the settings. Obviously, no summoning conditions, just means anybody can join your game. Um, and that's all fine for you. Coming across them, you can decide to set. Uh, some summoning conditions here. Look. So we can either have it so the only people on your friends list can uh, can come on into your game, or you can go ahead and set yourself a password. Obviously, mine is always Joe, <laughs> uh, which is probably going to be the channel one. So if anybody wants to join in with us, that's going to be all good. Um, you can decide whether or not you want one or two players, um, and depending on what you do here, so let's say you leave a chocolate cup on here, or even two chocolate cups, let's say you leave two chocolate cups, then decide to summon somebody. Somebody's revenant, um, and then two people join. The revenant will get kicked out of the game, basically. So let's look at how we get a chocolate cups. Then uh, you got a couple of places you can get them from. Probably the quickest is the Kodama Bazaar. Uh, this is technically the most expensive. It's almost always here. Uh, it costs you two rice per go. I believe you can only carry five. If you have more than five already, then you can't actually buy any more. Um, I would probably suggest that you can just farm them from the red graves. So let's take a look at one of these. Red grave. So this is obviously where somebody dies. Um, it's a pretty pretty easy mechanic, pretty common mechanic of the game. Um, come on, dude. And generally, when you kill these guys, these will drop you. So much shotgun. They don't always drop loads, they don't always drop any. Sometimes it can be zero, sometimes it can be three. I've never seen more than three though. Uh, and then you can effectively use that Achaco to summon a Revenant or to summon a player. Um, I highly recommend doing this as much as possible. The rewards for doing this, both killing the Revenants 
uh, having revenants come into your games um, will basically give you glory, which allows you to buy rare materials at will. So, really, really important. It's important that everybody, kind of, in my opinion, anyway, participates in this. Otherwise, it just makes it harder for everybody. Now, when it comes to the blue graves, then the way to place those is to use an item called Righteous Jasper. Now, you can actually purchase these um, for both gold. I think it's like 800 gold, uh, and you can purchase them for um, for glory as well. And basically, just kind of put one of these down. Uh, you can have up to three active. Apparently, my Imagawa Die Hard one look just doesn't do very well, so I can leave this here like this. And now it'll just randomly appear in people's people's games. It looks like there's a level cap based on the level, which is kind of interesting. Level 50. Didn't realise that was the case, but it's cool. Um, and so now people can can hire my can hire my revenant, and I'll get rewards for that. Uh, I think I've already claimed them in a previous episode, so hopefully I'll have something to show you guys in a second. Uh, so essentially, the better your revenant does, the more rewards you'll get. And you'll earn extra glory and um, a choco and more of the iron. The lessers do this call with that righteous, righteous jasmine, or whatever it's called. So, uh, with the kind of in game part all explained, then it's probably next worth looking at getting summoned. So, I will skip to that for you guys in a second. Okay, then, guys, so on the main map, and so maybe we should go to Awakening just so you guys can kind of. Kind of see everything as, uh, as it might do at the beginning of the game. There's going to be a few things to take a look at when it comes to joining people's games, and I'll show you guys what on, what Glory does, even though you may not have access to the rewards just yet. Uh, it should demonstrate to you guys just why you should be um, should be trying to trying to gather it. So when it comes to trying to join someone else's game, come down to the Tory Gate uh, at the starting point. Got a couple of options here. You have random encounters, uh, which is literally as it says. Um, you can put some conditions in if you wish to. Um, by specifying a mission if you want, um, friends, secret words and stuff. It seems a really, really strange thing to do, to do like the quick one. I would say it's just better off just coming here, search, and then you'll get into some cult with somebody. Um, and then you have expeditions, which is basically the same, uh, search, apart from you can search or create a room here for the custom one. So you can go ahead, you can select the mission or without, without uh, conditions, although that would be kind of weird. Uh, and it's a little bit like kind of starting a party. Uh, you can have a private slot or open slot, so you can have a member of the public, or you can have it so that people don't have to make the word, or on your friends lists, uh, all that kind of stuff, specify the mission that you're going to go into. Um, in addition to that, then you have the quick match, um, which is probably probably the easiest one, and in my way, the way you're going to search for somebody, right? So, um, what you'll need to do to actually get into a mission... Is... Wait, 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 wait. Let's just, let's just clarify this for a second. So, to get in with this one, um, you're just kind of going to Go to join a mission. This is the one where you can join someone else's. So when it comes to search, uh, you'll need to put the identical uh, stuff in if you want to join someone else's room. Um, and then you can go ahead and get into the mission, become a revenant. Now it's worth noting that um, if you're going to start a mission from the beginning with somebody, um, as a co-op player, uh, your host will be able to rest at shrines, which will reset enemies, but your gear like spells elixirs all that kind of stuff won't reset so you'll be whatever it is you take in with you is what you can have so if you if you are going to go in i'd probably recommend taking some some healing on you with you that kind of thing just to help you help you last for the duration so with the the how to do co-op um gaining glory participate with the online stuff being explained i think uh, <laughs> if i've missed anything please put it in the comments that way, at least uh, other people will be able to be able to get on there and check check that what I'm saying is at least mostly there. Uh, we have the hidden tea house, which becomes unlocked uh, later on in the game. Uh, I want to say it's Act Three, but I can't remember exactly the, the exact mission. And once it gets unlocked, it's unlocked across all of your characters. So that's kind of why it's weird to kind of kind of remember exactly when I unlocked it with the streams. Uh, but you come in here. Uh, there's quite a bit of stuff you can do in here. I'm not going to go over the entirety of the tea house. Um, but essentially, uh, here we can trade our glory for items, including respec items as well. So you can respec all of your uh, skill points, not your skill points, your 
uh, ranking points, which is kind of cool. I may even do a do a separate video just for that item because I'm sure there'll be some people that will know how to completely respect their character. Cheaper versions of the Book of Reincarnation, which is nice. Uh, and then, as we were saying earlier, this is going to be a list of where are we from? Like here, what would usually be rare um, items that drop from from Yokai, which you would have to farm. You can just simply buy for your glory. Uh, which is incredibly useful, in my opinion. Uh, in addition to that, you're also going to get uh, different forms. So you can you can dress your character up as as characters if you like. Uh, you get different. You can you can buy weapons. It's similar to the blacksmith purchasing of weapons. Um, I think they are at least uncommon. Um, you get like a small chance at rare and a tiny chance of it being exotic. Um, I probably wouldn't spend glory on this, even though it doesn't actually cost all that much to do it. Uh, I, th I feel like you're much better off going with um, go with the blacksmith. Because it's just completely random, you don't even get to choice. choose the armor type, it's just mental. Um, you've got new gestures in here, and some decorations for your for your hut. Uh, in addition to that then, we also have the clans. So which not the tea house, this probably isn't related to glory, but um, it's kind of going to show you guys the secondary effect of what the glory does. Uh, so... You have two camps, okay, you have white, this is meant to be white, although I call it blue, uh, and you have red, so it's a little bit like warring factions, uh, don't worry, it's not like PvP, it just basically means that um, each faction's glory earned gets tracked, um, and you can get rewards based on that, which is kind of cool. Uh, this game really, really seems to be leaning and rewarding on it, so I, this is why I'm trying to get as many people in on it as you can. Uh, they all give different bonuses, uh, obviously just pick, pick based on a bonus that you like. Um, I've gone with 40 Omnia power plus bullseye bonus, so if I shoot someone in the head, it kills them. Um, there is also, um, I think it's plus 20 attack and defense for each weapon type, uh, as well as some some other stuff. I mean, life bonus stamina could be pretty good with extra with damage bonus on equipment weight. <laughs> so if you're playing a, a stamina tanky boy, that's going to be absolutely gorgeous for you. Because uh, that would be like what? So you can have really, really high stamina and get life bonus out of your stamina, which also gives life bonus and extra equipment weight, and then get damage bonus based on your equipment weight. So you can really, really lean on your stamina uh, if you want to be tanky boy. That's pretty cool. Uh, and I think one of the popular ones is luck. That's not me. Really. Is luck, plus 30 luck. That's going to give you uh, just better drops. So a pretty good farming one. You can change once every eight hours. Uh, I don't think it costs anything. Yeah, you cannot claim any rewards, handle any transfer, you will lose or claim again. Yeah, it doesn't cost you anything. So you can you can change fairly well, pretty much as uh, as you please. Uh, so looking at clan battles, then uh, I've already claimed my reward and stuff for this. Uh, but essentially, um, I should save now. But essentially, uh, as you can see, white is losing at the moment. Um, but it until basically seven o'clock tomorrow, um, it will track. Who's gaining what glory, and based on on your participation, whether your whether or not your side wins and all that kind of stuff, you will get rewards. You can also donate stuff as well. I think you get extra glory for that, so you can donate stuff. Maybe. Oh no, that means that. Oh, it can only be on your stuff. That's interesting. Uh, I haven't really looked at the donate stuff, but um, that is essentially what the online stuff is going to do for you. Which is kind of nice, in my opinion. And I think that is pretty much everything I want to say about how to co-op with people. The effects and why uh, I think everybody should be using um, the online features. Now I just want to finish on, um, after this video goes out, I will create a, uh, a Neo 2 uh, kind of meet or place in the Discord channel. There will be a link to the Discord um, in the description, and I'll, I'll pin a comment with it on as well, so that you guys can can start like, kind of talking. Obviously, I can only provide the place, I can't provide the people. Can't guarantee how many will be there, but I have seen a few comments in there already. So we already have a few people playing Neo in the channel. So hopefully, I'll catch some of you guys in there. Okay, then guys, I'm gonna add a little bit onto the end of the video. <laughs> I know I've probably just said goodbye, but uh, I'm terrible at video editing, so trying to fix everything would be would be terrible. Uh, but what I forgot to show you guys was where you get the rewards when you're when you're doing the multiplayer stuff. And it is in the hut at the bottom. You'll see check deliveries. This is where you'll get um, get to view kind of what's been happening with you with your things. So I've helped. So my revenants have helped 40 players. I gained a thousand glory. 
loads of charcoal to righteous Jasper. Um, in addition to that, when you place this, I think I showed it in the beginning part of the video. It's been a couple of days now since I looked at it properly. Uh, obviously, when you place in the Jaspers, you'll see kind of how each one's doing too. But to review where you're placing them with that. Anyway, guys, apologies that um, it's a little bit, little bit disorg. Wow, <laughs> hiccups! <laughs> Leave me alone. A little bit disorganised. Um, but uh, hopefully, you'll all forgive me. See you in the next one.